Hey there, Dave Nason here, continuing my look at what is new in iOS 14, with a particular focus on those people using the voiceover screen reader. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the new widgets, which in iOS 14, for the first time, can live in the home screen, as well as on the today view screen. So what I'm gonna do first is take a look at the new style widgets in the today screen, and then we'll come back and look at the how to use them on home screens as well. So to go to the today screen, I've got two options. This is the screen, of course, which is furthest to the left. So to the left of your first home screen. So I can either go to the adjustable page menu. Page one of two, adjustable. And swipe down, or I can PL. swipe from left to right with three fingers to go to the today screen. News, widget, button. And what I have on here at the moment is I have in the top left corner, Weather, widget, black rock, 12 degrees Celsius, partly cloudy, high of 15 degrees Celsius, low of 9 degrees Celsius. Actions available. And to the right of that, I have a batteries widget. Batteries widget, iPhone, 61% charged. Actions available. So they are actually sitting side by side because they're smaller widgets. And that's one of the big differences as well, is that we've got three different sizes of widgets. And I'll come back to that again as well later when we're adding widgets. So I've got those two side by side. And then below that, I've got the news widget. And this one takes up the full width of the screen. IrishTimes.com, lockdown measure. And then below that, I have one other small one, which is fitness. Move ring, 88%. Which is a bit like the complication if you have an Apple Watch and uh, you have the activity rings complications, a bit like that kind of information. So, uh, and then there's nothing, there's a blank space to the right of that fitness one because it's a small one. So it's sitting to the left and there's nothing to the right of it. Now, some apps haven't yet been updated to take advantage of the new widgets in iOS 14, but you can still run their widgets, those old style widgets um, in iOS 14. They just can't go onto the home screen. They have to stay in this today view screen. So I'm gonna scroll down and see that I have a couple of those. Page 202, weather gods, button, heading. I have the weather gods widget and- No favorite dev Casa devices, button. The Casa devices widget. So they can still stay on this phone and they stay here in the today screen. They can't go to the home screen. If I wanted to edit it, edit those or any widgets on this screen, I can go into edit mode in a couple of different ways. So the same way we did in iOS 13 and before, where we could swipe to the very end of this page or go to the very bottom of this page and find the edit button. No favorite, select your favorite, go to casa, edit button. And I could double tap that, or I can go up to one of these other widgets. I'm just gonna scroll Fitness, up, widget, page one of two. up the page and I can just put focus on any of these widgets. News, widget, the journal, i.e. And I'm going to then use the actions menu. So as you may be familiar from the regular home screens where you can go into the edit mode by swiping up or down to cycle through the actions menu and finding edit, we do the same thing here. So I'm gonna swipe up. Edit mode. And I get edit mode. Start editing. And then just say I want to remove the batteries widget altogether. I could do that. Batteries is editing widget. So Actions available. It's editing, and now I swipe up and down again to till I find the delete option. Drag batteries, delete. And I would double tap. I don't want to delete it, so I will leave it there. The other option I had there was drag batteries to drag it. So if I wanted to move these around and maybe put it before the weather one, or maybe move it below news, for example, I can do that. Finish so editing batteries again, much in the same way as what we do with icons on the home screens. Um, this is also where I can add widgets to this screen. So again, I'm going to go into the edit mode. Edit mode. Started editing. Batteries is editing. Widget. And then in the top right corner, we have the done Search. Button. Text field. Done. Button. And in the top left, we have... Add widget. Button. The add widget button. So I'm going to select that. Search widgets. Search field. Actions available. And as you hear, there is a search field. So if you want to look for a particular app, you can type in a search in there or you can explore the screen or swipe right through the screen to find what widgets are available on your device. So the first section you come to is suggested widgets. So these are ones that Apple or the phone believes that you um, may find useful. Pedometer, goal completion, widget, medium, suggested, button. So you'll have heard, heard it said suggested there at the end. So I can swipe through all these uh, suggestions. 
IMDB, Google, search, photos, for you, notes, folder, maps, widget, m music, recently played, OneDrive, OneDrive, uh, TV, up next, widget, reminders, list, widget, small, suggested, button, calendar, up next, widget, sleep plus plus, sleep report, widget, smart stack, button. That last one then I come to there is smart stack, um, and I'll come back to show what exactly a smart stack is and how that works, but you can ask here, you can have it install one. Batteries, button. And then I swipe right from there and I get into a sort of A to Z of all of the apps on my phone that are offering these widgets. So the first one for me alphabetically is batteries and then I can just swipe or again explore through until I get to what I want. Calendar, clock, button, files, button, fitness, button, Google, button. So just say I wanted to add a, uh, add a Google widget to my today's screen. I'm going to double tap. Google, heading. And here we will come across the different sizes. So if I swipe right here. Close button. Search. The fastest way to search. Now on your home screen. So search is the name of the widget and then says the fastest way to search. That's a description of what this widget does. And then I can swipe right again. Widget preview, small, search, button. And we're here it said widget preview small. So that's telling me this is one of the small size ones. A small one is one that takes up a two by two size grid. So if you had it on your home screen, it would be it would be the space of two icons across and two icons down. They're the smallest widgets available. And um, I can then swipe down through to get a preview of what's in here. Search Google. So this particular widget just says search Google on it. And I believe if you double tap on it, it'll open you into the Google app in the search field with keyboard on screen. So it's just kind of a shortcut into doing a Google search. I can swipe right again then. Page one of two, adjustable. And it says page one of two, adjustable. So this tells me that Google are offering two widgets to me. So I can swipe up to go to page two. Page two of two. And now I'm actually gonna go back to the top of the screen. Dismiss pop-up, Google heading. Dismiss pop-up, Google heading. And back to the Google heading. Close button, search. The fastest way to search, now on your home screen. So they've actually got the same description on it, but now if I continue to through the um what's on this screen widget preview medium search button so this time said widget preview medium so this is a slightly bigger widget and the medium i believe are four icons across and two down so it's double the size of the small one so um so let's go through this again to see what's on this one that makes it different to the small one long search button so it has launch search, voice search button, voice search, incognito search button, or incognito search. So the reason you might want to go with this slightly bigger widget, it's going to take up more space, but on the other hand, it is uh, going to offer me more options from the widget. Page two of two, adjustable. So I'm going to go back to the first one. Page one of two, widget preview, small, search Google. So that's the small one. And then I'm going to find the add widget button towards the bottom of the screen or if you swipe to the end page one of add widget button add widget button and now i'm back on the today screen and the google widget has been placed on my today screen i'm going to find the done button in the top corner done button to stop done. editing air nine one six four and now what we have is below that news widget we have the fitness one still to the left Fit 29 minutes out of 30 minutes and then to the right of that because because it's all the Google one I put it, selected is also a small widget. It has slotted in next to that fitness widget. Google widget search button. Actions available. And again, I could double tap. Google search field is editing. Search or type URL. Insertion point at start. Quickly launched me into the Google app with the keyword on screen cursor in the box. So very convenient way to do a Google search. And that's just one example of what these widgets can do. Hot search. Others will show you quick information, like I say. So like the fitness one shows me my move rings and activity rings for the day. The weather will tell me the weather without having to actually open the app. So some are action based like the Google one um, and some are purely giving you information without having to actually open the app. Now, what if I wanted to, instead of having this Google one in my today screen, because maybe that's not all that convenient, I'd rather have it on a home screen. Well, I can do that too. So again, I have a couple of ways of getting widgets onto my home screen. So one would be to pick one up off this today screen and actually bring it out onto the home screen. Search Google, edit mode, started editing. So edit mode again, and then I'm gonna find drag. Delete, activate, stop editing apps, delete, activate, Google, is editing, stop editing, delete, drag Google. Drag Google. 
News is editing widget. And then I'm gonna swipe across to my add widget button. I won't put it page on one of three page. adjustable. Page two of three. Page three of three. I'll put it on a new page. Empty page. Drop available. Drop available. Copy. M. Actions. Move Google to empty page. Drop ready. Drop complete. Google is editing widget. I double tap and there it is. Again, I'm gonna end. Done the button. Edit mode. Done. The Air nine one six four three. Um, I can also press the home button or do the home gesture to um, to exit the edit mode, of course. So now in the top left for corner, it has locked this widget into this, this screen. Let's take a look at the other way now, though, to add to home screen. So if I actually had, was on this screen, I said I, I want to add another widget. I can again go into edit mode. Google edit mode. Started editing. And just like on the today screen, I find an add widget button in the top left corner or swipe all the way to the left. Search, done, but add widget, button. And again, search widgets, search field. I get that same list of options. So I'm going to find a different widget to add here. IMDb, IMDb page two of six, music, recently played, widget, medium, suggested, button. Okay, let's check out what music has. Music, heading. So again, I'm in that now music screen where it's going to show me the range of widgets available from the music app. Close button. Recently played. So this one is called recently played. Quickly access recently played albums or playlists. And there's the description. Quickly access recently played albums and playlists. Widget preview. Medium. Forever young. Single. Andrea Von Campaign. Button. So this is a medium widget. So it seems they don't have a small one for music. Animal. Eep. 90s pop. Apple music. And, um, well, you can tell I'm a 90s fan there. <laughs> um, so... I'm going to go down to the adjustable menu. Page here. dismiss pop-up. Page two of three, adjustable. So that's page two of three. Actually, that's page two of three it's open to. Normally, it would open straight to page one. So I'm going to go swipe down to see what the first option was. Page one of three. Recently played. Also called recently played. Quickly access recently played albums or playlists. Same description. Widget preview. Small. Forever that young. Single. Small. Andrea. So, um, in fact, yeah, music does offer a small one. So we have the small one on page one. Dismiss. Add widget. But page one of three. And page one of three. Page two of three. The medium one on page two. Page three of three. Page three of three. And Music then heading. On page three. Close button. Recently played. Quickly access recently played albums or playlists. Again, same description. Widget preview. Large. Recently played. Forever young. But this one is large. So again, it's going to be a much bigger widget, but it's just going to offer me more of those recently played albums um, and playlists. So again, it's up to me how much convenience I want versus how much size I want to uh, to take up on my screen with the widget. So if I was to pick the dismiss pop up page three of three and page two of three medium one for widget example. preview media Catatonia and similar artist station rate add widget button add widget button music is editing done button done and air nine one six four three zero into my home screen it's actually locked itself in above the Google one by the look of it so this one as I say is a medium one so it goes four across non stop nineties tune in and two down in size so takes up the full width of a home screen which is four icons and a two uh, two down and then below that it's locked in the google widget which is taking up a two by two size so there are the different kind of options i have i could also do like say a large one which would take up double the space again of the medium so medium is twice the size of small small is twice the size of medium now, there is a thing called stacked widgets, and to show you that, I'm going to find another small one. Google widget. So I'm going to go into edit mode again. Search button, edit mode. Started editing. Add widget button. And find that add button in the top left. IMDb, IMDb, notes, folder, maps, note, photos, for you, page, series suggestions, app suggest, TV, up next, reminders, cal, sleep plus, plus pod, smart, battery, calendar, clock, files, and button, fitness, button, Google button, IMDb. Kahoot, maps, button, music, button. Let's go with music again. But this time I'll find music, heading. the small version. Page one of three, adjustable. Okay, so page one of three is the small one, I believe. Widget preview, quickly access recently played albums. Widget preview, small, forever young, okay. single, Andrea Von Camp. So then I'm going to select add widget. Add widget, button. Add widget, button. And now I have a Google one and a... Uh, music one sitting side by side on done, the screen. Done, button. Done. Of course, realistically, I wouldn't probably have two music ones, but this is just for demo. So now if I wanted to create a single stack with both that, the small music one and the small Google one together, 
A stack means I can have two widgets dropped on top of each other and only one of them is displaying at any one time, but they're on, they're, that means they're only taking up the space of one small widget and then I can easily flip between them. So let me show you what I mean by that. So if I go into edit mode here. Google widget. Search button. Actions of edit mode. Started editing. And now I'm going to find Google is editing widget. Drag option again in that actions menu. So again, this is just like moving apps on a home screen and it's very similar to how you'd create a folder, for example, with two apps where you're dropping one app on top of the other. Drag Google. So I'm going to select drag from the actions menu. Done. Button. Row one. Column three. And then I'm going to find where I want to go, which is onto the music one. Music is editing. Stop editing apps. Drop Google before music. Drop ready. Drop Google after music. Drop create new stack with music and Google. Drop ready. So we have the option. Drop complete. Create stack with music and Google. So there was a drop before, a drop after, if I just wanted to move them around. But there's then this uh, create stack option. So now let's see that the, the big Google one is still there um, as a medium. Done. One. Button. Done. But Air. I have this stack now, which has the Google and the small version of the music in one. So, of course, a stack can only be created with widgets of the same size. So I can put multiple small together in a stack, multiple medium together in a stack, or multiple large together in a stack. But they can't mix and match, of course, because they need to stack on top of each other. So how I would then switch between my Google and my music here. Google widget stack. Air nine one search Google. Actions available. Search Google. Actions available. Um, now again, we're on the actions menu on the rotor. It should always default to actions, so you don't need to move the rotor at all. You just need to swipe up or down to cycle through the options. Next widget. So if I swipe down there, I get next widget. Previous widget. Previous widget. In this case, they do the same thing because they only have two. Um, and then I can double tap on either one of those. Edit mode. And I've got edit. Activate default. Activate will actually take the action of say opening that of opening that app. So they are um, how a stack widget uh, would work. So if I do that again. Next widget. Go to next widget and double tap. Widget one of two. And I've got a photo containing a circuit board and a gift card. Widget one of two. Widget two of two. Forever young single and next widget. And do do it again. Widget two of two. A photo. And I'm back to the Google one. So it's that easy to s flip between them. Let me show you one with three of these on my real home screen here. Home app store. So I've got a three, uh, uh, yeah, stack with three small widgets in it here on my home screen. Fitness widget stack. Move ring 89%. Exercise ring 96%. Stand ring 91%. Actions available. I can then swipe down to next widget. Next widget. Widget two of three. No description available. Black rock 12 degrees Celsius. Partly cloudy. High of 15. Black rock 12 degrees Celsius. It's giving me the weather. I can do it again. Next widget. Widget three of three. No description available. Pause. 5,206. And it's the pedometer plus plus. So I've got weather, fitness, and pedometer plus plus all in one widget on my main home screen. So it's really easy to get that glanceable information from those apps without having to actually go in and find those apps and open them. I can again select that app though if I wanted to. 5,269. So if I want to open pedometer, the settings. full pedometer plus plus app, I can do that by uh, just selecting the widget. So really app store. Um, convenient for certain types of apps, I think. Now, um, I might not always want to have to manually find the widget. So what they've come up with is something called smart stack. So what I have there is a stack, but if I want to make it a smart stack, what that will do is use kind of AI or Siri intelligence to think, well, to decide what uh, um, widget, which of the widgets in your stack you want to look at at this particular moment. So for example, it might be logical that first thing in the morning of these three widgets, the, I'm unlikely to want to know my steps and pedometer or my fitness skills because I haven't really started the day yet when I first wake up, but I may want to know the weather for the day. So Siri would intelligently know, I, off, I usually check the weather first thing in the morning when I wake up. So it's gonna display the weather widget when I wake up in the morning. That's the one that's going to be on screen. Edit mode, activate, no, edit mode, activate, no, sky go, Facebook, edit mode, 5,206, next widget, widget one of three, black, move ring, eight, next widget, widget two of black rock, 12. So I could expect that when I unlock my phone in the morning, 
this is the state it'll be and it'll be on the weather widget um, and I don't necessarily have to go and change it. Your, your mileage may vary about how good it is at predicting at different times of the day which of the widgets you want, but it is a, it is a good option. So let's just look at how you set that up. Next widget, previous widget, edit mode. Started editing. So we're back in the edit mode again. Weather is editing, widget, stop editing apps, activate, default. We select activate in the router and double tap. Close button. And that will open up this screen. Smart rotate, switch button, on. And on the screen that uh, opens, you get smart rotate and a switch, and I have it on so that I have the feature. If you don't want Siri to be changing it, if you think, I know what my smart, what my stacked widget are, is, but I want it to stay on wherever I left it. I don't want Siri just changing it around on me or the iPhone changing it around on me. Then you can switch this off. Fitness activity. I can also reorder those. So when I hit next on fitness, it went to weather. When I hit next on weather, it went to pedometer. So that's the order of my widgets. I can also change them if I wish. Reorder weather, forecast, button, draggable, reorder pedometer, step count, button, drag. And this works very much the same way. Again, similar lists you may have come across in, um, in various apps on iOS when you want to reorder things. For example, in the voiceover rotor um, menu options, um, if you want to change the order of things in your rotor, you may be familiar with it. So we do- Reorder weather, example. forecast, button, draggable. Actions available. So I would double tap on this and hold, and then I move my finger up. Move below the pedometer, step count. And it's moved it. The other option is to put the focus on one of the names of the widgets. Weather, forecast, actions available, delete, move up. And I can select move up. Move above pedometer, step count. And it's back up again. And you'll also have heard there. Weather, forecast, move down, activate, if delete the delete option. So if I want to delete one of the widgets out of this particular stack, this is how I would do it. Smart okay, rotate, switch, so close, button. Close this menu. And Add widget, button. The last Settings, thing is editing, do, done, button. We're still in edit mode. The last thing to do is to show you how we can move this widget around. So you might want it in the top left corner or the bottom right corner or somewhere in between. I have it here halfway down, literally halfway down the screen. So, um, and on the right hand side is where I have mine. So, and of course you can have multiple widgets or multiple stacks on one home screen, but I've chosen just to have one. So if I wanted to move this to the Finished editing. Air. Nine. left corner, for example, to the top left corner, I would again go into edit mode. Fitness widget, next widget, previous widget, edit mode. Started editing. And then Fitness is editing, widget, stack. The drag option. Stop editing apps, delete, drag fitness. Done. Button. Row three. And just like you do with app icons, I then go to the location I want to move it to. App Store is editing. Stop editing apps. Drop fitness before App Store. Drop ready. And select drop before. Drop complete. Row one. Column one. And now there it is in Finished editing. Fit. top left corner of my home screen. Now the other that means you all, of course, my other apps have moved around and it can be a bit unpredictable because unlike apps, you know, take up they only take up one slot on your on the grid an app does so you know exactly where other apps are going to be or nothing else really is going to move but because this is taking up a block of four in terms of the size other apps have moved all over the place a little bit so it can be a bit unpredictable so you may need to rearrange your other apps once you've moved the widget where you want it so i would always say place your widget where you want it first and then move your then reorder your apps into the order you want those and um, there is one other way i can move this as well 29 minutes out of 30 minutes. Which sometimes you may find easier. Um, Next widget. Previous widget. Edit mode. So go back to edit mode. Started editing. And this time, instead of finding the drag option, I'm simply going to put focus, uh, uh, place my finger on the widget and then double tap and hold and then just physically drag it myself. Fitness is editing. Widget. Stack. Action. So Add that widget. Sound, button. And then I'm going to, I'm literally moving my finger across. Row three. Column three. And it says row three, column three, and I'm going to drop that. And now it's back where I had it in the first place. Done, button, done. Which is Air, halfway, nine, one, six, four, three, zero, seven. halfway down the screen um, and on the right hand side. Um, and you'll hear it said row three, column three. So it did give me directions of where it was. Um, and it, that's based on the top left of the widget, I suppose. So that's where you want the widget to start. So that's really everything on widgets. It's how to, you can add 
multiple widgets you can ha just keep them to the today screen if that's what you want you don't have to have any on your home screens if you do want to have them on home screens you have a choice do you want the just a small one or do you want to take up more space and have larger widgets as well and i think the stacks is really useful it's particularly because i can have these three widgets that i've decided are useful to have to me on my home screen but not have to take up a huge amount of space so i just have them stacked and of course i have that option for the smart rotation as well so that the ai can potentially show me the one i want when i want it so that is widgets and um, thanks for watching please do uh, like and subscribe and share if you found this useful and I will see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.